Hello YouTube, it's your boy Trezor here again and uh, today we'll be working on realistic vector i or rather pupil for cartoons so let's dive into it now earlier on um, some time ago I was in um, a challenge in my whatsapp group so I came up with this um, eye here which you have seen here I actually did a um, grey one at first and later changed it to red as I was working with um, Chadwick's project so for today I'm just going to be showing you my steps here in the app showing you all the layers and everything and how I got to here so let's start so for the base um, part for the base part which is red because Chadwick's eye is red or his people was red where I was edited from picture I saw and then adding um, this um, radial tool there at the center is going to help us a lot to get that, um, all those lines there understand so added right to the uh, middle you can do that on a fresh layer or same layer but well, advice is on a fresh layer trust me okay and to do this um, line now i'm going to be using the tape pad uh, ink and reducing my number of lines to 12 advisable even numbers to help everything to be even <laughs> Now that's not it. Okay, so um, for the line design, I will advise not really an advice, kind of like okay, no, I will tell you that you know you're free to explore, you're free to try out different things, but you should keep one thing in mind the center of the people is must always be dark. The center of people must always be dark. It must be darker than any other part. Here I was experimenting and you know trying out different other things. But at the same time, I remember that I try try to like play with other colors to just see how it look. But fresh looking awkward. So I think I just have to change this. Now, like I said, the center of the eye has to be dark and that's what I'm doing here. And you also want to make it look sharp somehow. If you see, like the way I dragged that last line out to just make it kind of like blend. Okay, let's get rid of this. I don't like the way it's looking. Okay, now it's looking better. So, um... That part is still a bit bright, I don't like that. I'm going Okay. Let me see. It's not too bad, but. Anyway, it's okay. So, um, next part is the most important part you don't miss out, is the gradient form. What I just did was I duplicated the layer for the circle I did earlier on and you know moved it forward and then use the gradient tool, change it to radial down there and you know just to make sure the edges of the circle must be dark and the middle midpoint must also be dark so in between I'm just going to make gradient points there so you know make it more interesting and in between you're also going to reuse the opacity of most of the gradient points so we can see through and look at those um, lines we did earlier on okay so let's see now for this part um you're not really restricted to what i'm doing just try different things Whatever works for you, you know. 
Let's try it out on C. So for now, I'm trying to get same effect as I got earlier on the ash. Now, if you don't understand um, the tools I'm using here, please go on the description down below and you know click the link to my other video on infinite design talking majorly on tools because it help you a lot I recommend you take your time to watch it and you know practice with it too so here I'm just um, tweaking different um, gradient points and trying them out reducing and increasing opacity and like I said before the midpoint must be very dark must be very very dark Okay, and that should be okay for now. So I duplicated the last layer as I did earlier on before and doing it again. But this time around, we are not going to do the uh, gradient as we did, like we did earlier. Earlier on, I'm going to be moving from black, not like normal black itself, to red since the arts is red, kind of red. This is eyes are kind of right, but you want to keep something in mind. You want to move that point, your dark point, to cover those people up, the people's up there, people lines up there, because you don't want to look funny. I actually missed it at first, but later on I imputed it. So just keep that in mind. For those of you that like skipping videos so um so far if you like this video you know leave a like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i post some new content okay for the next part we're going to be uh, making this um, circle part there and you can make it easy to it very very easy just duplicate the base layer too as you did earlier on move it forward just then tap edit tap the white stuff tap and ball point so we have ball points is going to like give you a line instead of a field we're going to give you the line circle i'm going to use the line circle to hide some other things we're going to be drawing later on here so that's what it's for and i'm going to paint it black just Mm, that's good, yeah. 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 yeah, that's better. Okay, so up next is um, reflections. One down and one up, as you can see, and red eye there. So, we're going to try to make the call for reflection. No, that's not. Not looking good, so okay. Mm, that's terrible, too. Okay, so it depends on you, you can take your fresh anyway you want, but I think I'm okay with this. Then, gradient again. I use a lot of gradients in this video, so um, just be aware if you don't know how to use gradient at all, as in like at all, at all, please go to my video below. And if you don't understand, um, if you still don't understand some some other parts here, please leave your leave your comments below so I can respond to you. And if you're watching this a year from now, of in the future, um, just chat me up on my Telegram group there. I'll still respond to you. I'll try my best to still respond. To you. yeah not so fun to come all the way from here okay so for reflections you want to keep in mind that the eye is red so what I did was I reduced the opacity to zero there that's that big day and made the other part there white but you're going to have to drag it so it doesn't um, you know 
look too sharp on the eyes. This is okay so far, but like I said around, you want to make that dark gradient uh, come down. And you want to keep the center of the eye really, really dark. Center of the eye really dark. And that's what's missing right now. Those are the two things I'm missing right now. So here I try to get the point. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this, this is a bit okay, but the whole goal of um, this is just to make people look uh, kind of like 3D, you know, to pop out because normally your vector eyes are kind of flat, so this will help it pop out. And trust me, you need this. And also, um, the way to use this when you're done um, creating the eye, just um, export it off your paper layer, off your image layer, and then. When you export all background, and as you can see here, these are the eyes. I told you before, you need to bring down that black stuff, and you can see it now. The eyes are really kind of like pop out. You love it, yes, you do. Click the subscribe button, trust me, you want to click that. It's gonna help my channel, it's gonna help you get more awesome videos like this. And if you have commissions for me, you know, like uh, portrait commissions, my um, Gmail my email address is going to be down there. Mail me and we chat up for the prizes. Okay, but for now, I guess this is all. There is. And like I said before, if you have any issues, chat me up. Please, 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 please chat me up. And then if you need help too on your cartoons or you need um, me to, you know, show you errors or show you tips and tricks on, to improve on your art, send me your design files for your projects and I'll edit and I'll uh, review them on my channel live. Whenever you send to me, I'm going to combine a total of like five of your guys and, and do it all together. Okay, that'll be that'll be all for this video. See you next time, guys. Love you.